Okay guys, our sales of lawnmowers have been great, but we need to lower our costs to compete in this market. How can we lower our cost? Why don't we just cut the size of the gas tanks? Well, that's obviously a bad idea. Consumers buy our product because of the efficiency of the tanks. It differentiates our company. How about lowering the quality of the blades? It would lower the material cost. We shouldn't do that. We're known for reliable products. And lowering the quality of the blades will just cause them to fail more often. Well, how about if we cut the monthly employee lunch? Well, on this track, we should cut lunch every day. Yeah, you don't want to go that route. You're going to lose employee morale. Johnson, if you don't agree with any of the suggestions, why don't you come up with a plan to cut costs? You know what? I do have a plan. Why don't we use target costing? So how does target costing work? And how will it benefit our company? Um, you know, I've heard about that, actually. Um, excuse me here. Uh, target costing is a... Um, it's a design method uh, or a costing method that lets you set a target cost um, and achieve a certain desired profit while at the same time not sacrificing quality or features or anything like that. So it just involves a lot of cohesion between the different departments of the company. I get it. We can combine certain parts of the lawnmower to simplify production. Yeah, I mean, for example, our lawnmowers consist of 367 different parts, and I'm sure that R&D could cut that down to maybe 300 parts without sacrificing quality in the process. Well guys, excellent work. Costs are down and productivity is better than it has ever been. Good work team. Excellent work team. Based on these numbers I have right here, I think target costing is the best strategy we could have used. Yeah, we didn't even have to sacrifice morale or our ideology.